Genuine request, how to make the neighbor hold an item dur during a task. I'll just go ahead and make a function in here. Call this, uh, pick up item. Firstly, you're gonna wanna make an input input parameter. We'll just call this uh, in object, BP base object. So for the tutorials project, it'd be BP interactable. So just set the input parameter to that. And for the, uh, for this, We'll call this a socket name. And we'll just make this a, I think it's a string? Hold on. Attach to, attach active to component. Let's try this. No, it is not a uh, string type. It is a name type. So you have these two, these two called a uh, in object in socket name. These are basically the only two inputs that you're going to be needing. And this is actually what you're going to want to do first. So for attach actor to component, uh, it'll be the uh, the mesh. So I'll just get the mesh right here. And the socket name just connected to that. The location rule, uh, do snap to target. Same thing with rotation rule. But for scale rule, you'll want to do keep world. That way you won't have things like the, the, <laughs> the object getting smaller and smaller each time the neighbor picks up an item. <laughs> so for this, just do set uh, simulate physics mesh. This is the same for the tutorial project, by the way. And even if it wasn't, it would be very simple to translate it to a, uh, to, you know, an equivalent. Uh, so, this is actually, turn it off. <laughs> so, turning off the physics after this, and also turning off the col set collision, collision enabled. Just gonna set that to no collision, and that's it. That's literal. That is literally it. However, if you want to add just a little bit more functionality, uh, let's see if I have a variable for this here. Uh, oh, I do have this. Okay, so if you want to add a bit more functionality, you could have an inventory system for the neighbor, just like for just like the player. And so you would do get inventory. And do add, and you would add the in object that the neighbor would be picking up, and our AI will be picking up. This and yes, so you so whenever you want to so you whenever you want to like like a you know trigger a function from a held uh, from an item that the AI is holding you'll do exactly what uh, what it is for the uh, for the play for the player character you do a get a copy node get select to get item selection or whatever equivalent you have for this and you would do do all the functionality here so yeah this is that that this is it that this is literally the entire, this is literally the entire, the entire script. Except one last thing. We're going to want to do one last, last thing just for quick, just for a, a quick measure. So I'm going to do a set actor location node, location and rotation. And the reason why we're going to be doing this is because is because sometimes attach actors or component doesn't really work 100% correctly and the location and rotation for the object won't be set correctly so it won't be in the right position or whatever so so to prevent that we're just going to get the world location and rotation for the socket get socket transform get world space socket transform this is exactly what we want and then this in socket name, just do, just get the exact use the exact same thing that we did before that we used before, and RTS world keep that the, exactly the same. Split that you, you do so by uh by right clicking on it and clicking split struct pin. Oh, whoops, I forgot to. And then for the in and for the target for set actor location and rotation, do in objects just like before. Uh, for 
for organization's sake, we're gonna add a re double click to add a reroute node right here because it because it's getting the, the that exact uh, input. So there we go. Connect a new location to the return value location and rotation for get socket transform. And now that is actually <laughs> that is actually how you get your AI to pick up an item. Or at least to give it the visual, or, vi or at least visually, for the most part, uh, pick up an item. Well, the, the inventory ad is really the only is really the only thing that uh that really adds any sort of functionality. But uh, we're not going to worry about functionality for now because I'm sure most of the time it's going to be uh, purely visual. Like for instance, when he's like pour pouring water over his plants or something. There's no like actual like particles or anything coming out of the watering can, so you can so you can just have him play the animation as he's like as he has the item attached to his hand. And for dropping an item, it is essentially the inverse of this. Uh or not really inverse. I'm trying to think of the wording here. It's it's uh, uh whatever. I'll just call I'll just call it inverse. It's more or less the inverse of this. Where hold on, let me add another function. Drop item. Except uh, have the input parameters be an object. Uh, BP base object or BP interactable in the tutorial projects case. Uh, and then do uh, okay. No, that's what that's it. So uh, after. The only thing different with this is that you're gonna instead of um, in instead of the socket name parameter that we have here, we're instead go only going to want the uh, the location that f that the object is going to be dropped at. But however, just so we can add more fun more like customizability for the uh, for the transform, we'll just do uh, drop transform. Just call this drop transform, and this will be a transform type input variable. So, right here, this is all. This is all we need. So, off of this, we'll do detach from actor. For the location rule, we'll do keep world, keep world, basically keep world for all of these. Uh, set simulate physics to true. Again, the inverse of this, we're undoing what we did, what the pickup pickup item function is doing. Set collision enabled. Uh, except for this, we're gonna set it to collision enabled. There we go. And then we're going to uh, get inventory, just in case you have a or whatever equivalent you have to this. I'm gonna remove it from there because we want we don't want him to be able to reference this item anymore because he isn't holding it. <laughs> he doesn't have it in his inventory anymore. And then we are going to do set actor transform. And it is going to be the drop transform that we have right there. And I believe that's it. Yeah, that's literally it. That is that is literally it. <laughs> this is literally it. So basically now all you would have to do, so in any one of the uh, the task the behavior tree tasks whatever item you want them to pick up you just make a move over to oh, to the to the item call the pickup item function and obviously with the socket name ref like you know socket name thing so actually actually come to think of it let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and mock up a uh, a quick little little uh, watering watering plants uh, thing 